All right, so I guess we're doing a bit of a crop report. Wow, that is beautiful. Our new pivot is finally running. I mean, it, they built it in two days, but then let's see now, it is Wednesday. So it took them kind of Monday, Tuesday, and all, all of today to get it wired up. But now it's just wired up, beautiful shiny pivot, and it is going around. Pretty night, pretty sunset. Awesome. So there they are. All the little rows of beans are just popping up behind me. The purple um, leaves, that's called your cotyledon. And that's actually the seed comes up out of the ground and splits. And then emerging out of the cotyledon as they separate is your first true leaves. And so those are your first true leaves with the little cotyledons underneath there opened up and then we'll go on and it'll send up a, a trifoliate leaf which is three leaves together but anyway so no very excited to see the bean these are um black beans this field is black beans well the durham is sure looking nice too that's a nice field of durham this is circle number one. It's been fertilized and pivots gone around a few times and looking amazing. Okay, we're just checking on the watering hole. Oh, we got a cute little guy here. Hey, little buddy. What do you think? Yeah, all the beautiful red little calves. I just want to make sure I had enough water in the watering hole, but we certainly do. Yeah, we got water overflowing out of the watering hole. And now irrigating a bit of the grass. A bit of a beach party down here. So no, there's babies everywhere looking great. So this is the Mayakoba beans, the yellow beans. And yeah, they're coming up beautiful. So yeah, very happy to see these rows of beans popping through. Super cool. Springtime is great. All right, so this is that field number one. And uh, it is, like, like I say, it's looking beautiful. But we are seeing a lot of grasshoppers. Let's see if we can take a look. At a certain, uh, I think they said, if there's, well, in, you know, 14 or 15 grasshoppers in a square meter, then you're above the economic threshold that they're going to start doing damage and we'll have to spray for the bugs. Whoo, the locust, the plagues, the grasshoppers, there's always something pushing on you. Oh, you have some, uh, I don't know if you want to pick. I'm videoing, yes. So, like you could say, like one, two, three, four, fifth leaf emotion six like you could say it's six leaf and then this will come up and then the flag leaf will emerge through here so the flag leaf's the next one <laughs> it should be yeah because it, it, the the plant will begin to elongate and another way to check to kind of where staging is is you can check where the nodes the nodes within the plant are and this is a good way to see where like the elongation stage is and because what we do is so like if a if a field's ever like modus or manipulator, um, which is like a growth regulator, I'm not too sure if you have you ever used that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how they do it is they spray off the nodes for timing. Okay. So when you when you cut a plant open, you can see the node developing there. Yeah. And so it'll eventually push itself up and then another one will develop and then another one. This is technically the third node. They come out weird. So it'll elongate and you'll have like the third node and then you have like internode and then like the first node. But so yeah, it'll, uh, well, you can feel it too. Like even on a, you can, you can, it has like a prominent kind of. Yeah, yeah. These uh, black beans are really just a beautiful stand of black beans. And we've got our, you know, our 
Trifoliates are coming in really nice. We got a few guys that are still at the two leaf stage, a little bit late bloomers, but the stand is absolutely excellent. I'm not sure. I'm debating whether to start pivot number one or pivot number two. Just doing a little bit of digging in the field to see what the moisture is like. But boy, so far, everything has just come up amazing and looking fantastic. All right. It's about 4.30 in the morning. The sun hasn't come up yet. I'm out changing some valves on some pivots. Something I wanted to show you is that this land, uh, this particular circle is one of our sandiest circles. Um, and I've just watered it. Like literally the pivot just went across the road and I could drive on it, no problem. It's like driving on a, uh, on a beach or something. The, the water actually makes the sand easier to drive on than when it's dry and loose like it is over here. It, but it's crazy to have land that's so sandy that you can drive on it or even work it with machinery right after you water it. You don't get stuck. It's crazy. <laughs> 